Tonight, dozens of birds are saved from this. They're being mutilated by each other. Before being shipped to cockfighting rings. They go for hundreds to thousands of dollars, these birds. New at 6, Cairo 7 confronts the man accused. And I want to get your side. Blamed for prepping the birds for torture. Cockfighting is against the law in Washington state and throughout most of the U.S. Good evening, I'm Dave Wagner. I'm Monique Minglava. Now, investigators say the property owner confessed his birds would be sent to the Philippines to fight. But he told Cairo 7's Amy Clancy he's done nothing wrong. Now she's live on 44th Avenue South in Tukwila where the birds were rounded up. Amy? Monique, take a look at this. This is an investigative picture that shows two of the 67 roosters and hens that once lived on this Tukwila property. Now, their owner told me he loved his birds, and he claims the criminal allegations in these charging documents are just not true. Today, Cairo 7 obtained these investigative images from Regional Animal Services of King County, whose investigators last month seized 67 roosters and bantam hens at this vacant property on 44th Avenue South in Tukwila. According to just filed court documents, the property's owner, Romeo Rivera, confessed to breeding and selling chickens for the purposes of fighting, a felony in Washington state. Rivera agreed to meet with Cairo 7 today for an interview to discuss the charges against him. And I want to get your side. Can, can, can you talk to my uh, nephew first? You betcha. But Rivera's nephew, a lawyer, asked him not to comment on camera because he said he questions the accuracy of the allegations. So you're advising your uncle to not do an on-camera interview? The 75-year-old Rivera did say off-camera he was just raising the chickens, said he knew cockfighting was illegal in the U.S., but not in the Philippines where he was born, and that he's surprised he's been charged with a felony because the allegations against him are not true. Cairo 7 has covered cockfighting related busts before, most recently in Thurston and Kitsap counties, where hundreds of birds were seized and multiple arrests were made. This undercover lead investigator for Posado Safe Haven said cockfighting is against the law because of its cruelty to the animals. They're being mutilated by each other. Posado Safe Haven often investigates cockfighting cases and shared video of the type of blades placed on fighting birds. And so the animal's natural behavior is used, but now there's a blade, so they're cutting each other up. The charges against Rivera allege his birds' waddles and combs were dubbed or trimmed, a common sign the animals will be used for fighting. Now, Posado told me that oftentimes these investigations begin because neighbors complain about the noise. As you know, roosters are not quiet. But Mr. Rivera said in this case, the neighbors complained about noise from a dog. When animal control arrived, those officers noticed all the birds. Now, we're told tonight that all of those board, birds are being cared for at an animal rescue in Gig Harbor. Reporting live in Tukwila, Amy Clancy for Cairo 7 News. Besides being cruel to animals, cockfighting is closely connected to other crimes, including gang activity, gambling, and drugs. Bets on fights can range from a few hundred to thousands of dollars. Attendees can sometimes even purchase box seats the way you would for a sporting event. Going more in depth tonight, cockfighting is illegal in all 50 states and is a felony offense in 42 states. 13 states allow the possession of fighting birds, even though fighting is illegal. That does not include Washington. 43 states classify attending a cockfighting event as a crime that does include Washington. We have investigated multiple cockfighting cases in the Northwest, and you can see details of three other investigations over the past six years by going to Amy's story on Cairo7.com or the Cairo 7 News app.